Saint for Doodle, 9 Things to Know Before Buying Are you in search of a couch potato companion to binge watch shows with you all day long? Do you need a large teddy bear to snuggle with at night? The Saint for Doodle might just be the perfect dog for you. These delightful mixes are the perfect cuddle buddy, guard dog and babysitter all packaged into one. This pup makes the perfect addition to any type of household. In this video we will discuss what you need to know before adopting one of these gentle giants. Before going into the video, you need to grab the free dog training secrets guide in which we have disclosed the deepest dog training secrets that professional dog trainers don't want you to know about. These training secrets would help you have a well-behaved, super intelligent, smart, and obedient dog without spending hundreds of dollars. So make sure to check the first link in our description to the free video series guide. Now let's get into today's video. What is a Saint Perdoodle? The Saint Perdoodle is a lover, not a fighter. These gentle pups are the result of mixing the courageous St. Bernard and the graceful poodle. Whilst they can be used as a working dog they are generally kept as a loving companion. St. Perdoodles are friendly dogs that want nothing more than your undivided love and attention. These cuddly dogs will eagerly climb into your lap and happily settle in for a movie night with the entire family. They will always be around people. These calm and easygoing pups are rather lazy and very easy to care for. First-time owners would find taking care of one of these beautiful dogs a breeze. Overview, Hybrid, St. Bernard slash Poodle. Purpose, Companion. Weight, 110 to 200 pounds. Size, 24 to 30 inches. Temperament, Easygoing, Lazy and Affectionate. Pros and Cons. Pros. Affectionate and very loving. Low exercise requirements. High intelligence makes them easy to train. Have very few health issues. Protected but in a gentle and quiet manner. Cons. Not suitable for apartment life. Can be very expensive. Develop separation anxiety when left alone. May be mouthy if not properly trained. St. Perdoodle appearance. This mixed breed is gorgeous and looks more like a stuffed animal than an actual dog. These dogs are one of the fluffiest breeds around and look more like an adorable teddy bear than a dog. Their floppy ears and warm, brown eyes make them undeniably cute. They will melt your heart in an instant. Although St. Perdoodles usually keep the face of a St. Bernard, they do not inherit the hanging jowls or sagging eyes that most St. Bernards have. This makes them very desirable to dog lovers who want to adopt a St. Bernard but do not want the excessive drooling and eye infections that are common of this breed. Despite their plush fur, they are quite muscular and can pack a lot of strength into their huge bodies. Height and weight. These giants can weigh anywhere from 100 to 200 pounds and stand 24 to 30 inches in height. Pups that inherit more of the St. Bernard genes will be heavier. Sadly these pups are often returned to their breeders because owners do not realize just how big they get. It is important to know just how big they will get and to make sure your home is large enough to accommodate them. Breed Colors and Coat There is not a lot of variety in color, their coats usually only contain four colors, white, black, brown and red. Most coats are only two colors with the most common color combinations being white and brown white and black white and red saint bernard poodle puppies are often darker when they are born their fur lightens over time their coat texture and length will vary depending on which parent breed they take after these pups may inherit the tight stringy curls of their poodle parent or they might have the thick long fur that most saint bernards have because of their poodle genes these dogs will not shed much six fun facts about the saint perdoodle this has many nicknames including the saint perdoodle and the saint perpoo because of their parents this breed is often used for service or therapy purposes. Usually these dogs are created by breeding a standard poodle with a St. Bernard. Miniature or toy poodle are too small to breed with a St. Bernard. This mix does not know how big they are. These giants will always want to climb into your lap, so be prepared to constantly be buried in 170 pounds of fur. Unlike purebred St. Bernards, St. Perdoodles rarely drool because their poodle genetics prevent that undesirable trait. You can now find mini St. Perdoodles. They are created by mixing a miniature poodle with a St. Bernard and a Cocker Spaniel. St. Perdoodle Personality and Temperament Although these dogs may be an intimidating size, their teddy bear appearance and sweet nature makes them anything but scary. St. Perdoodles will eagerly seek out friends, both humans and other animals, and get along with everyone they meet. They are one of the most loving and affectionate breeds you will ever find. These giant teddies want nothing more than to cuddle up on the couch with their favorite humans. With lots of love and attention your Saint Perdoodle will become loyal to you for life. 
Because of the strong bonds they form with their family members, these gentle giants can develop separation anxiety if left alone for too long. These pups always want to be right alongside their humans and can get stressed if they are left at home by themselves. Even though these dogs may be big love bugs, they do have protective instincts. These dogs love their family more than anything and will do whatever it takes to keep them safe. Unlike typical guard dog they simply keep a watchful eye over their surroundings and will calmly protect their loved ones from any potential danger. You will rarely ever hear these pups bark. Because of how calm these dogs are they are not overly playful and energetic. These lazy dogs would rather take a long nap with you during the day than go for a strenuous run. Their energy comes in short bursts throughout the day and can easily be expelled with a short walk or quick play session. Despite having fairly low energy levels throughout the day, these dogs inherit the curious nature of the Saint Bernard and may get into a bit of mischief if they are not exercised. So make sure they receive at least a little bit of exercise each day. Is the Saint Berdoodle a good family dog? A Saint Berdoodle is a perfect family dog. This hybrid inherits the natural nanny instincts of the St. Bernard so they will loyally watch over your children at all times, as well as provide them with cuddles whenever they are needed. Caring for a St. Perdoodle Although their size might be a bit intimidating, St. Perdoodles are an extremely low-maintenance breed and do not need much beyond lots of love and attention. These pups do not need much exercise, are easy to groom and are fairly healthy overall. Throughout the day they will often get bursts of energy and will want to play or run however they will need a nap soon after to recover. The only thing to note is that you will spend a lot of money on food as these dogs need to eat a lot to fill their big stomachs. Exercise Requirements St. Bernard Poodle Mixes prefer to be couch potatoes. Just one to two short walks each day will tire these giants out. Avoid taking them for long, strenuous walks because they may become exhausted. If you are looking for a dog to take hiking or running each day, this is not the breed for you. Because of their strength, it is important that you train your pooch to walk nicely on a leash from a young age. If you wait until they are out of their puppy stage, your giant Saint Perdoodle will drag you along on your walks. Although they may prefer naps over chasing a ball around the yard, Saint Bernard Poodles still have a playful side to them. They will chase you around the backyard, go for a short swim, and will play fetch in the yard. Number of walks per day, 1 to 2. Total exercise needed per day, 30 to 45 minutes. Grooming and shedding. Grooming your St. Bernard Poodle mix will depend on what their coat texture is like. If your pup has the dense fur of a St. Bernard, you will probably want to brush them one to two times each week. If your St. Berdoodle inherits the tight curls of the poodle you will need to make frequent visits to the groomer. These giant protectors are prone to dry skin and irritation so only bathe them once a month at most. If you wash your dog too much their skin will dry out and you will notice redness, itching and even eczema. Because of their long, floppy ears, you will want to pay extra attention to their ear hygiene. Clean out their ears once a week to prevent infections. Feeding and diet. Just by looking at their size it is no real surprise that these dogs have gigantic appetites. They need lots of food to support their big bodies. Typically they need 4 to 5 cups of food each day spaced out over 2 meals. Their weight plays a big factor in determining how much food they need. If they are on the smaller side they may only need 3.5 cups, but if they are much larger they need up to 6 cups of food each day. Your veterinarian can help you figure out what the optimal amount of food for your dog is based on their weight, age and activity level. St. Perdoodles should be fed a diet that is formulated for large dog breeds and is high in calories. Calories per day, 1400 to 1750. Cups of kibble per day, 4 to 5. Known health problems. These dogs can develop a few health issues because of their size. Hip dysplasia and wobbler syndrome are two of the most common culprits. Ear infections, bloat, Willebrand disease and heart conditions are all potential issues that a St. Perdoodle may develop. However, this breed rarely suffers from major health concerns and overall is a very healthy breed. If you're like most dog parents or parents to be, you care for your pet immensely. Having pet insurance could save you from potential headaches of going to the vets with reimbursement for every vet bill from now on. Save massively on your pet's medical costs whether it's an illness, injury, or wellness expense that needs taken care of. How long does a St. Perdoodle live? Like most larger breeds they do not have long lifespans, 8 to 12 years. How much does a St. Perdoodle cost? The St. Perdoodle come with a shockingly high price tag, $1,000-$2,000 if you are purchasing one from a breeder. How to train a St. Perdoodle. Luckily this mix comes from two very intelligent breeds. This makes them easy to train. These big pups know that if they please their owners, they will receive lots of praise. 
so they are highly motivated to perform whatever task you ask of them. Because these pups love to please positive reinforcement is the best strategy and you can reward them with either treats or lots of love and affection. Because of their high intelligence these dogs want to be challenged and can become bored if they are not challenged. Test their search and rescue skills by playing hide and seek around the house. Teach them how to perform tasks for you like turning the lights on and off, fetching the TV remote, or even babysitting your children. These dogs love to help out and will happily do anything to make your life easier, as long as it results in lots of praise and treats. Just like any dog breed, socialization is important but thankfully these pups have a naturally sweet disposition. They quickly warm up to anyone they meet and even get along well with other animals. Occasionally these dogs can get mouthy but this can be quickly trained out at an early age. The Saint Perdoodle's loving temperament means they will fit well into any family. They love children, adults and other animals so anyone with the space to house such a large dog, could happily adopt a Saint Bernard Poodle mix. This lovable giant makes a great choice for first-time owners because they are very low maintenance and easy to care for. If you are willing to let them snuggle with you on the couch they won't ask for much else. And don't forget to check out the free video series that teaches the quick and easy way to an obedient dog, so make sure to get yours by clicking the first link in the description. If you like the video then make sure to hit that like button. Also if you want more dog training, guides, information then make sure to subscribe to our channel. Let me know what you think of this video in the comments and thank you for watching. And please consider subscribing our channel for more about dog training and dog breeds content every day.